Today's video is going to upset a very, very large group of people, and if that happens, then so be it. I promise that is not my intention today. My intention is to simply inform the millions of Americans who are every single year, in my opinion, getting scammed and ripped off by pest control companies using termite bait stations. I have right here a termite bait station, and in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what they are. I'm going to explain to you in detail why these bait stations are a huge scam and waste of money. I'm going to explain to you why I think pest control companies use these termite bait stations, and I'm also going to give you my personal recommendations on how to protect your home from termites. This claim is not just my opinion, it's based on real world facts legal statutes to back up my claims, and six years of my personal experience in the pest control industry. All things considered, I honestly wouldn't be making this video. It doesn't make me super comfortable to bash other pest control companies. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to educate homeowners how termite bait stations work. Termite bait stations are by far my most asked question from homeowners, like, hey, what are these stations doing in my yard? And it's not a coincidence that homeowners ask me that question more than any other question in the pest control industry. It's because <laughs> these termite bait stations, they got a dirty, dirty secret. So in today's video, I'm going to go over three points. The first point is even when they are properly installed, they are not 100% successful. The second point is they are simply a ripoff. Termite bait stations are not the most financially or laboriously efficient way to handle termites. This means that pest control companies are charging for termite bait stations way more than it costs them to actually set up and maintain. And the third reason why termite bait stations are a scam is because their whole existence is simply just based upon miscommunication and uneducated customers falling for termite and pest control companies, convincing them that this is the best way to get rid of termites. The longer and longer that I'm in the pest control industry, the more and more I find that I just completely dislike termite bait stations. Let's start broad. What are termite bait stations? Termite bait stations are a way to protect your home from Eastern subterranean termites, the most common species of termites in the United States. Termite bait stations look like this from above ground. You may notice these green circles in your yard spread around your house every 10 feet or so. This is what they look like underneath the ground. They got just this flat disc on the top and then a reservoir at the bottom that holds the bait. That's one brand of termite bait station. Here's another brand of termite bait station. Yes, these are filthy. I ripped them out of the ground. Let's get this out of the way before we get going into any of the details about these kinds of termite bait stations. There's another kind of termite bait station. I think they're called spectricide termite monitoring stations. Total, total, complete waste of money joke, even more of a waste of money than the actual termite bait stations we're going to be talking about. Please don't buy these. I see a ton of my customers that have bought these termite monitoring stations. They pop out of the ground. It says, hey, you've got termites in your yard. And I check them and I pull up the station and there's there's no termites on the station. I do a thorough termite inspection in their house. There's no termites in their house. They're just a complete waste of money. The main kind of termite bait station that we're going to be discussing today are the professional grade termite bait stations. There are a few different brands, a few different companies that manufacture these termite bait stations. I just showed you these two I have. Later in today's video, I want to specifically talk about this green termite bait station here. This is called a Centricon bait station. It's made by Corteva, some Australian company. I have some extreme personal beef with these Centricon bait stations, but I promise you're going to want to see this personal beef I have with these termite bait stations, but we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. I want to go ahead and jump into the main content of today's video, and that is why termite bait stations are a scam. As I talked about earlier, I have three points. Just to recap, one, they're not 100% effective, even when installed and maintained exactly how you're supposed to do it. Two, 
They're simply a ripoff. There are better ways to control termites than bait stations. And three, their whole existence is because customers don't understand what they're paying for. And the termite or pest control companies usually just completely lie about what these termite bait stations do. Or the alternative is they lie about the other option on how to treat termites with liquid soil treatments. We're going to talk about these three points. And I think by the end of these three points, you're going to be completely convinced. So why do termite bait stations only work sometimes? Well, think about this. Termite bait stations are placed in the ground every t approximately 10 feet around the exterior perimeter of your home. The idea is that termites, they're always foraging, looking for new food, new wood to feed on. The theory is that termites will eventually find these bait stations. Keyword, eventually. There is no guarantee that termite colonies are going to come in contact with these termite bait stations. If a pest control company says there's a 100% chance they're gonna come in contact with the termite bait station, then ask them over what timeline? Because sure, over like a thousand year timeline, yeah, a termite colony is probably going to find this termite bait station because they're always looking for food it would be incredibly not <laughs> unlikely for a, a termite colony to just completely miss a bait station for many, many months, if not many, many years. The termites simply unluckily pass the bait stations and make it to your home without coming in contact with the bait. Now I know like my real world examples are nice, but hey, like I want some real hard facts. Like how long does it take a termite colony to come in contact with a bait station if they're only 10 feet or so around your house? Well, I have some a Department of Agriculture litigation that says exactly word for word how long it takes a termite colony to potentially come in contact with a baiting system installed around the exterior perimeter of your house. And I'm going to pull it up on the screen here now. And if you'll just read very closely, it says it could take up to one year for a termite colony to come in contact with these bait stations. Now, on the other hand, with a liquid soil treatment, the Department of Agriculture says that the termites should come in contact with the liquid treatment and their colony should be completely gone within 30 days. 30 days for soil treatments, 365 days for termite bait stations. I'm no math expert, but that's a 12 time difference on how long it takes termites to effectively be controlled. And since termite bait stations take so, so long to work, I have personally not come in contact with a pest control company who sells these termite bait stations who will not treat a home with liquid initially for a customer that has an outstanding active termite colony. Say if you call a pest control company that does termite bait stations and you have an active termite colony infesting on your home, they are not going to just install these stations because they know, deep down, they know, they're not gonna tell you, but they know it could take up to a year for the termite colony to find the bait stations. That's why they're always going to say, okay, we're gonna spot treat this area with a liquid just to make sure the colony is under control and we're we're gonna install these termite bait stations. So that gets me to my next point. Why would they do that? Why would they install these termite bait stations? There's a few reasons why they would install these termite bait stations. Now we're getting into my second point about why termite bait stations are a scam. Termite bait stations are a ripoff. They're extremely, extremely cheap to install. It, it probably takes 30 minutes to install a termite baiting system around the perimeter of, of your house for just like an average like 2,000 square foot house or so. Pest control companies will charge for this 30, 45 minute service of installing the stations anywhere from the lowest quote I got sent to me, I did a bunch of quotes just researching this, was 500. I got quotes up to $1,000 for this initial installation. They they make such a big deal about how, how much technology is in this termite bait station. <laughs> termite bait stations and liquid soil treatments work almost the exact same. They both kill the colony. There is nothing special about this. Pest control companies sure want you to think that you're paying for some really high tech technology in those bad boys, but I promise you're not paying for anything except some plastic, some wood soaked in chemical, and a technician taking a drill and just drilling a hole into the ground and shoving that bad boy in there. So the real reason why pest control companies do these termite bait stations is because of the recurring revenue. If you're in any kind of business, 
uh, whether it's just, you know, Netflix or a pest control company, it's all about that recurring revenue. It's all about that monthly subscription, that yearly subscription. And termite bait stations are way better at locking customers in to a subscription plan than liquid soil treatments. Pest control companies will charge usually $200 up to $500 to upkeep these termite bait stations. To upkeep them, that is just a once a year service. They come out with this special little key <laughs> and they pop open this uh, lid here, just like that. And they take out this bait. This is really dirty. <laughs> they take out this bait, not working uh, probably at all <laughs> at that point, And they replace it with a fresh bait. And then at that point, that extends your warranty for, for another year. And that service to exchange, to replace the bait probably takes the technician, again, like 30 to 45 minutes, but the pest control company charges you uh, like 250 to $500 per year. On the other hand, if you get a liquid soil treatment, there is no bait that needs to be replaced. It's just a one-time treatment. The initial price of that service is a little more expensive, can be $700 to $1,500 or so. So why would customers choose termite bait stations over a liquid soil treatment? Well, now we're getting into my third point. That is because the whole existence of termite bait stations is simply built on miscommunication and uneducated homeowners that get convinced that termite bait stations are the best way to go. Pest control companies that use termite bait stations lie about how the liquid products work. One of my big beefs with Centricon is that in their marketing and advertising, they say that liquid termite treatments don't kill the colony. They only repel termites or they only kill termites on contact. And that's not true at all. Liquid termite treatments kill the whole colony. They have very similar active ingredients that transfer to the whole colony and they end up telling customers that this liquid treatment is old school and it doesn't work and it's only going to kill the individual termites and it's not going to kill the colony that's why you need the special colony killing termite bait station systems and it's just a bunch of bs and i've heard this so many times before too guys if a homeowner calls a termite company that has bait stations set up around their house and says, I don't want these bait stations anymore. I'm going to cancel the fee. The pest control company uses as many scare tactics as possible to get them to stay. They're going to say, oh, well, okay, that's fine. But we're going to come take the bait stations out of the ground. And then you're not going to have any coverage. They're never actually going to come back and take the bait stations out of the ground, guys. These things cost like $7. The pest control company doesn't care about that $7 piece of plastic in your ground. They only care about scaring you into renewing the contract for another year. They are good companies. I know the, there aren't evil people behind the doors like you're just ripping people off for fun but the companies that use termite bait stations they are simply just putting recurring revenue and money in front of the best thing for the homeowner and I just think that's not right so those are the three reasons why I think termite bait stations are a complete scam ripoff waste of money bad for the homeowner which brings me to my next point why do pest control companies use termite bait stations if you're a pest control company that uses termite bait stations or if you're a pest control company that uses liquid termite treatments you can rely on BrioStack pest control software to make sure your pest control company runs smoothly I have used BrioStack for almost four years now, and BrioStack makes sure you're maximizing your time and effort and your company's time and effort. The pest control company will break down the annual inspection and replacement of the termite bait station into a monthly fee. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having a monthly fee instead of an annual fee, but just know, these termite bait stations are meant to drive recurring revenue for the pest control company. They're going to get you initially because it's cheaper to install these bad boys into the ground. I don't know why they had to shape them like this. They could have shaped them a little more like this, but Centricon decided to shape their termite bait stations like this. <laughs> I think it's just kind of on brand with what the Centricon bait stations do to the customer. They do the same thing to the ground. But kudos to the Centricon brand and the Corteva marketing team. Somehow they have convinced pest control companies across the country to use Centricon instead of 
other reasonable termite bait stations like this nice brand of termite bait station. So let's get into my personal beef with these green termite bait stations. Let's start with this video. There's this video on their website. I'm about to pop it up on the screen here. It's one of the big problems with termite bait station companies and Centricon. They lie, they lie, 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 lie. This video, it's 100% lies. Let's go ahead and play it and I'll meet you in just a second. There are liquid treatments out there that are just like any other insecticide. They kill on contact and act as barriers. But liquids, as it turns out, are not the most effective way to combat not. termites. Liquid treatments, whether used outside or inside, must come into direct contact with termites to kill them or to be effective as a barrier. The odds are liquid treatments are only going to kill a small fraction of the thousands of food foraging termites and the ones that remain can go under or around whatever barrier is formed. Likely, that colony is going to rebound. Centricon, Corteva, the company that makes Centricon, is claiming that liquid termite treatments do not kill the termite colony. Granted, liquid treatments were the initial way to kill termites, and back in the day, we didn't have these fancy products that transferred chemicals throughout the termite colony. Liquid termite treatments used to, a long, long time ago, decades ago, only kill termites on contact. But liquid termite treatments were before termite bait stations were, were even a thing. Liquid termite treatments now kill the colony. The termite chemical that I have recommended on my channel for, for over a year now, Taurus SC, effectively kills the colony extremely, extremely quickly. The active ingredient fipronil that I have talked about for a long, long time on my channel is an incredible active ingredient used in Taurus SC that goes, that transfers throughout the termite colony, soil applications that will eliminate the termite colony. So I really don't know why Centricon has to falsely market against liquid treatments, but it's a flat out lie and it should be illegal. Another main beef that I have with Centricon is that for this video, I reached out to Centricon. I was doing a bunch of research, figuring out exactly how much they charge, what their deal is. And I said, hey, I've got my pest control company. I started here and, and I wanna use your cool product Centricon to lock my customers in. How much does it cost for you to send me some Centricon? Let me tell you what they said. They, they made me fill out a five page questionnaire about my pest control company, about where we are located, about how many customers we have, what my annual revenue was, what my favorite color was, what my deepest, darkest secret was. They wanted to know everything about my pest control company before they even gave me quotes. So I fill out the questionnaire, I submit it, I wait, I hear back from them a couple days later. They tell me, and quote, we, <laughs> they basically said, you're not big enough for us, you don't make enough money for us, we are not going to let you use our our sweet, sweet termite bait stations. So I did some more research. I was like talking to some of my other friends in the pest control industry. They charge pest control companies different across the country, just depending on how much money they make, how big their market is. And oh yeah, it's not just a one-time thing, it's an annual thing. You have to pay us every single year for every single customer you have on our sweet, sweet termite bait station program. I just don't think that's cool. I wish they were illegal. I don't think it's right. I think the Department of Ag should uh, lay their foot down because it's just not right to do a termite treatment for someone and it take up to a year to get rid of their termites. The Department of Ag has already said that's how long it takes. I don't think that's right. I think something needs to change. So I did a lot of research about these termite bait stations. So if you would please destroy the like button, it would help me out so, so much. Let's get to the last point of the video. And that is what I personally recommend for termite coverage. I'm going to keep it simple because it is simple. Get your home treated with a trustworthy liquid termiticide like Taurus SC once every 10 years and move on. If you want your pest control company to come out and check your house annually for a fee or for free, then do so. But if you get your house treated with a liquid termite chemical like Taurus SC, you're not going to have to worry about it for 10 years. These products work extremely, extremely well. If you have termite bait stations, I would say Fire that company right now, start saving up for a liquid soil treatment and schedule that with a professional ASAP. If you're feeling really, really spunky, 
You can DIY it. I've made videos on DIYing liquid termite treatments, but I promise I will never make you a video on DIYing uh, termite bait stations simply because it's not the best thing to do. That's it, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching Dan the Bugman. Please like, please subscribe, please drop a comment. Let me know your experience with termite bait stations with liquid soil treatments, and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace.